Okay, it's just a short video on the testing of that uh, frequency counter come crystal tester I built a couple of days ago. I'm running it off a bench power supply set to approximately 9 volts. But I guess I shouldn't call it a bench power supply because it's actually sat on the window ledge. So on my window ledge power supply it's set to 9 volts. Okay, and you'll see it comes down along here through a couple of crop clips and is powering up the frequency counter. Now, a long, long time ago, when I was building my first electronic door opener, I needed some plastic film to cover over the LEDs. Well, I suddenly remembered I still had half a sheet of it. So this is literally a piece of self-adhesive, um, slightly tinted plastic shield, which makes it actually readable. Um, so, let me just put that on there. That's it. So what we have going today is my frequency counter, or uh, signal generator I mean, I don't know if this will focus, but maybe, maybe not, but whatever it is, it's set for a square wave, 25 kilohertz, 4 volt peak to peak, and because I'm using channel A, it's just the square wave. Channel B is actually set to a sinusoidal wave, or sine wave as they call it nowadays. See if I can, I wonder if I can actually zoom in and focus on this. No, I guess not, never mind. So that signal generator, come frequency counter, goes down through a bunch of cables to here, to this. Well, I guess it's coaxial to this point because uh, it starts off as a standard jack. Then it splits out into a couple of um, crocodile clips. One of them here goes to the input of this little cheap frequency counter and also connected to it is the probe from my little old probably can't see that let me see if I can get some light on it my little hand tech PC based oscilloscope which is here on the TV monitor or the computer monitor I guess. You can see it's um, pretty solid. There's a wee bit of noise on the top and the bottom edges but I don't think that's noise because it's um, rhythmical. I don't know if you can actually see this but you can see the shape forms are actually in rhythm. So it can't be declared as noise. And it's also monitoring the frequency. I don't know if this will focus, but it says 25 kilohertz at what it 40 microsecond uh, period. So, oops, just not my um, flashlight. So anyhow, now <clears throat> the actual frequency counter itself, as you can see, is displaying a pretty solid 25 kilohertz. Every now and then you'll see the, um, the end digit here change, and I've tried tuning the the um, impedance the um, 
guess we used to call it a variable capacitor back in the day, but whatever nowadays. And I bought this, um, well, I, like a lot of these things from China, you can't just buy one. So I think it was a pack of 10 or something for, I don't know, a pound or two. Ceramic Algena tools. Ooh, I wonder what an Algena tool is. Do you think they might mean alignment tool? Nah, I don't know. Then on the back side is called a ceramic driver. So, and it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it was a pack of eight. I think for a pound or two. And of course, weeks for it to get here, but the way it goes. Um, so indeed, it's looking pretty good. I have yet to try the frequent uh, the crystal tester, um, mainly because I don't have any crystals. The only crystal I do have is from another one of these kits, and it's at what twenty? I guess that's twenty meg, I suppose. Um, but I haven't opened that packet yet, so. One interesting thing I've noticed though, you see I've got this signal line here going into the in of the frequency counter board and you'll notice the ground, well definitely not connected now, but if I put the ground into the ground pin and touch it to the actual common ground connectors here it locks up the whole screen and sometimes when the screen is just displaying garbage you actually have to touch the grounds together and you see what's happening look it's just gone AWOL but I take it off and it immediately gets, settles back to 25 kilohertz don't know why um, could be ground noise, could be, I don't know, there's a ground coming from the bench power supply, there's a ground coming from the oscilloscope, there's a ground coming from the signal generator, so who knows. Um, but once you actually touch it and then release it, it quite happily goes back to being normal again. Alright, I think that'll do so far been a fun project and I guess this is the end of that particular project. Bye!